Maybe you're not sure where to start with Flip. Like what makes a good topic? What should you ask? Well, if you need some guidance, there is a community in Flip called Discovery where you can find topics that are being used by other educators that you can copy and use with your students or tweak to make what you need. So if you come to the top right hand side, you'll see your little avatar icon and you're going to select Discovery from that menu. This is the community built by the users of Flip. So there are 47,000 topics that have been created by the Flip community that you can use. Now we could easily start here and just search for a topic or we can scroll down and we can look at some of their feature topics, their popular topics, their topics of the day, or we could browse. So let's say I am looking for a STEM activity. I'm going to use the STEM STEAM browsing topic and that leaves me 1,300 topics. Much easier to look through than the 47,000 that are on all in the database. So if I want to be specific about the grade level that I'm working with, I can come to this second column that says community and I can select a grade level. So this is a middle school lesson that I'm doing that brought me down to 265. So if I wanted to search, let's say clothes, what lessons here about clothing, which is really important to middle school, but also could be a really engaging STEM activity, I'm down to seven topics. Those are clearly ones that I could look through and get an idea of whether or not this is a great tool for me or a great topic for me to use. Uh, I'm going to start with this one right here, clothing and the carbon cycle. So if I click on that, this side of the little window that pops up is what the actual topic is. So this is what the image would look like. This is what it's called. And then if I need to read through, it'll give me all the details. And then this particular one has things linked to it. So there's a couple of websites, which is what the globe means. And then there is a Google Doc that is attached there. So all of those resources would be copied over so that you can use this topic if you choose to. Now looking at the bottom, if I want to share this with a colleague, the share link here gives me the option to share the view inside of Discovery. Let's say I have a teacher down the hall who we're doing some collaborative lessons and I think this one might be a good one for her class but maybe not my class. You can copy and send this link to them and then they'll be able to make a copy of this particular topic that they could use for their class. Now I've perused all of this. I've decided this is exactly what I want my class to be doing. So I'm going to come to the add topic button at the bottom. I can add it directly to a group that I've already got active. I can add it to a new group that I can, haven't made yet, or I can save it for later. Now saving it for later is probably a really great idea. That just means that a copy of this topic gets put in your personal kind of folder um, and then you can always put that into any kind of group that you have later on. So let's go ahead and add this to our folder, so save it for later. And I've got a folder already set up for makerspace activities so let's put it in there and then I'm going to click done. So I can continue that cycle, add a couple more so that I have several to choose from. If I go to the icon in the top right and I go back to discovery, you'll see that there is a tab for my library. That's where the topics that I have been saving are going to go. So I have these folders that I built. Just click the plus button and named one library lessons. I named one makerspace and this is how many are in each of those collections. Now maybe you have a really great flip topic that you want to share with others. 
you can always submit one and yours can be added to the discovery community um, if it's a really great topic to share. So don't get overwhelmed with building one from scratch. Use one that's been made by a committee member, a community member who has been using FLIP with students already.